I love this comment and he's right. The best thing about 401ks is the fact that they do compounding interest. But of course you couldn't possibly do that with a home wait. Yes, we can. Check this out. We take our original home for 200,000. It's now grown to 296. A lender will allow us to do a HELOC up to 80% of its current value, so 236. We still owe 136, which gives us 100,000 to work with. We take that 100,000 and we purchase two $200,000 properties. Rent these out after we pay back for the HELOC and the mortgage. We still cash flow about $250 per month on each of them. Fast forward now into our 40s. All three properties continue to appreciate. We can now do a HELOC on each of these for up to 100,000. Now we go buy six properties. Just as before, after paying back the HELOC and the mortgage on each of these after rents, we cash flow about $250 per month. $250 per month times six is 1,500, plus the 500 that we were previously getting. We're now up to 2,000 per month in passive income. Fast forward another 10 years, we now have nine properties and we are going to reinvest and compound the equity in each of those. So that gives us $900,000 with which we buy 18 $200,000 homes. After all is said and done, that is 4,500 per month plus the original 2,000 gives us 6,500. After the 30 years, you now have a total of 27 properties net worth of about $6.6 .6 million, 6,500 in passive income per month. And all of it is still growing at about 4% appreciation every year. All of this from that original home.